London equations. I will discuss about these two equations. Uh, these are these two equations basically are additional equation uh, with the Maxwell uh, four equation in electrodynamics. So in superconductors, London equations plays an important role. What is that role and how one can derive these two equations? That I will discuss here. So before that, I tell you that these four equations of Maxwell in electrodynamics. Number one in a differential form, that is divergence of B is equal to zero. And number two is divergence of E is equal to rho upon epsilon naught. Here I want to make clear that it does not matter. In generally, we keep it first. And the third one is the Faraday law del cross is equal to minus del B upon del T. And this fourth equation is the Ampere's law uh, with modification of uh, displacement current. So del cross B is equal to mu naught times J plus mu naught epsilon naught del E upon del T. These are four equations known as Maxwell equations in electrodynamics. And these are two additional equations. Uh, for the superconductors the first equation is equal to dj upon dt is an e square upon m into e where j is the current density and e is the applied electric field n is the total number of electrons e is the charge of electron and m is the mass of the electron in second equation that is the curl of current density and this is j s at both the places here also these and n s for the super electrons only del cross j s is equal to n s e square upon m into b here e is the electric field density and b is the magnetic field density so most of the uh, time a uh, confusion remains between b and h i want to make it clear that b is the uh, magnetic field density and H is the magnetic field intensity and the relation between these two quantity is through this equation B is equal to mu naught times H right so B is the density H is the intensity right so these are six equations uh, four with uh, normal conductors and two with the superconductors and these two equations are known as London's equations in superconductor. So we have to drive these two uh, equations uh, here in this video lecture. Now this point. Before we go into the detail of derivation for London equation, uh, it is important to know again that what is the definition idea of the Meissner effect. So, what is the Meissner effect? Meissner effect is below the critical temperature Tc, the magnetic flux does not passes through the superconductors material. Right? If this is the superconductor material, so magnetic field line cannot passes it. It basically repel from the superconductors. And this effect is known as Meissner effect. So magnetic field line cannot pass the here. Yeah, this is by mistake. Magnetic field does not cross each other. Uh, and similarly here, magnetic field line cannot passes through the superconductors. Right. So these are magnetic field lines. It means the superconductor is a perfect diamagnetic material right and there is no magnetic flux passes through the superconductor so this is the idea of Meissner effect so one can conclude from here that B is equal to zero inside the superconductor it means if we use the equation B is equal to mu naught H plus I uh, which one use to explain the magnetic flux density inside the material 
वन हु आर अवेयर दोज हु स्टडीड इन मैग्नेटिक मेटेरियल दे डिफाइंड द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स इन साइड द मेटेरियल दे यूज दिस इक्वेशन बी इज इक्वल टू म्यू नॉट एच प्लस आई वेयर आई इज द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ मैग्नेटाइजेशन एंड एच इज द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी सो सम ऑफ दीज टू विथ मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ परमिबिलिटी ऑफ द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज इक्वल टू बी सो हियर बाई डेफिनेशन बी इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ फ्रॉम द ओम्सला कीपिंग इन माइंड दैट सुपर कंडक्टर सो दिस प्रॉपर्टीज रो इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मीन्स रेजिस्टिविटी इज इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर द सुपर कंडक्टर इन स्टैंडर्ड वे राइट सो द ओम्सला यू नो दैट दैट इज E is equal to rho j. This is Ohm's law, and when you put the value of rho here, that is the resistivity. J is the current density, so E becomes zero. So now E is equal to zero. It means electric field inside the superconductor is zero, right? So here you observe that this. differentiation of magnetic field with respect to time is equal to zero that means b is constant from this line you can conclude that magnetic field is constant inside the superconductors at the first point in mesner effect you said that b is equal to zero and now you are saying that b is constant in the uh, superconductors when we use b is constant so this contradiction came at the first point we are saying that b is equal to 0 and on the other at second point we are so here in superconductors there is a contradiction about the magnetic field uh, magnetic flux does magnetic flux passes through the superconductors yes or no so actually neither it is zero nor it constant so what is the that point then further the magnetic flux enters into the surface of material up to the 500 angstrom 1 angstrom is equal to 10 raised power minus 10 meter up to this length magnetic flux actually enter and that distance is known as penetration depth so we will discuss it uh, in next uh, video but here the second point when it enters into the material it its intensity decreases uh, gradually and becomes zero at a certain point that distance from the surface is called the penetration depth or penetration length so here we have observed that there is a contradiction about the magnetic flux inside the superconductors and now the penetration below the surface we have observed approximately 500 angstrom and it means this distance is very small so we can consider it like a thin film so thin film does not show the mesner effect because through that magnetic flux passes magnetic flux enters right and now there are two points of electron into the superconductor we assume number 1 is the normal electron uh, the electron which flows into the normal conductor and second electron type is super electrons these electrons are basically into the superconductors only their velocity is defined as v n and v s right so we have assumed two types of electron here one is the normal electron and second is the super electron total number of charge carrier per unit volume is n not and that is the sum of all these two electrons right so n not is the sum of these two electrons n n plus n s j is equal to e charge of the electron number of the electrons and their velocity e n n v n for the j n and for the j s the current density is defined in terms of e and v right 
at the first point we said that super electrons does not face any barrier into this superconductor and second point we are saying that when we apply the electric field on the superconductors super electrons starts to flow within this under this electric field so these is our assumptions and now we start that a force will apply on the super electrons right so the equation of motion for the super electron so put this value dvs upon dt that is equal to minus e upon m is s is the number of super electrons e is charge m is mass e is applied electric field so this is equation number 1 london equation number 1 and the second equation right in the superconductors only the super electron give response in the presence of electric field the normal electron don't respond to the electric field right so because of that we find out here djs upon dt or you can say only js because j n don't respond of the electric field which we have applied on the super conductor now by using the maxwell equation first equation london first equation djs upon dt is equal to n e square upon m into e you have just taken the curl of it right so here del cross djs upon dt if uh, i simplify here only left hand side and rearranging the term so i will get i taking out this d upon dt outside and this curl with of js right so this is the left hand side here of it and here i am taking this any so these are two uh, differential equation in uh, superconductors that are known as london equation these two are additional equation along with the maxwell for equ equation so if you have any question or any doubt you just uh, type a message below this video uh, for more related video you can visit like and subscribe the same facebook page apni physics